guys, so I know I mentioned to a few of you that I did have a big announcement today. I'm getting married, I'm moving to Europe, and I'm never coming back. Just kidding. I am moving though, I'm moving back to Los Angeles. As much fun as it has been here in Arizona, I am looking forward to going home. I miss my friends, I miss my family, and I think there's just more of an opportunity for me there, so I'm really excited to go back. But in honor of leaving Arizona, I just thought I would say a few things that I know that I'm going to miss about being here. The first thing is I'm going to miss my friend Laura. You guys know her as Never Sometimes TV. She has become one of my closest friends here. Obviously, you've seen us do some collabs together. This is not the end of our friendship. We are definitely staying in touch. I'm sure I'll be seeing her a lot. We've got a road trip planned for next year. So... This won't be the end of the two of us as friends. I'm going to miss the cheaper prices on things. Living expenses are way less here. I am so not looking forward to paying rent in Los Angeles. The prices definitely scare me a little bit. Gas prices are way less here as well. I like being able to fill up my tank and not give my entire paycheck to the gasoline pumps. I'm going to miss some of the food here. I think two of my favorite restaurants that I've found are here. There's a breakfast place, it's fantastic, it's called. Well, there's two breakfast places. There's Matt's Big Breakfast, which is fantastic. I also really like the Breakfast Club. I love eating breakfast food and everything they have there is fantastic. I'm also going to miss my favorite pizza place, Pomo Pizzeria. It reminds me of Italy. I actually cried the first time I ate there because it made me miss Italy so much. I wish I could think of more things that I'm going to miss in this state, but don't really have anything. But yeah, this is my last week here. Literally everything I own is packed in boxes. I'm leaving in one week. I don't know how my roommates coerce somebody to move in with them. They sprayed the whole house with Febreze so you couldn't breathe and you couldn't smell any of the stank. So whatever works, I'm done. I'm out of this house. No more crazy roommates. Definitely uh, give this video a thumbs up because moving out of this hellhole is fantastic news. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well and I look forward to seeing you guys in California next week. Bye.